Hey, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So there is a new update to the Rectify installer. So almost a week ago, it got a new update. When it first came out, I actually made a video in it. So finally, after a many months, there is a new update. So the hope to making Windows 11 better is still alive, I guess. So just in case, if you don't know what Rectify 11 is, it is a, one of the most popular custom Windows 10 or 11 ISOs which offers better performance, better visual appearance and all that. But Rectify 11 installer is different because you install it and make the windows better in performance plus in visual appearance. Now you know, let's download it. This is a open source project at GitHub. It is Rectify and installer. So go to releases and after that, just download the Rectify 11 installer exe file. Now it's downloaded. Go to your downloads folder and uh, just run it as administrator. If your antivirus or Windows Defender blocks this, then you may have to turn those off. But uh, I'm just going to run this without turning off my Windows Defender. And I don't think Windows Defender will actually block this. Now here it is. Uh, I'm going to install it. Okay, I have to uh, restart my PC. It looks like I have these new updates which needs to be installed. So if you run into the same error, then make sure that you don't have any Windows updates pending. All right, I updated my Windows 11. Now let's run this again. And here you have different options to choose. You can change the system icons. You can change the theme. I'm going to actually choose everything. All right, you can choose the theme. Uh, let's go with the dark with Mika, all right? So it will give you that translucent uh, effect. Context menu style, you can choose different ones. And the best one is this one, enhanced fluent menus with all items in one place in the root. So you don't have to click on show more options. And they say the performance related things will be added in the future. So basically debloating and optimizing the Windows settings automatically using this those things will be added in the future. And depending on how many options you have selected in Rectify 11 installer, it will take some time. So I have selected all the options, so it might take few minutes for me. Now it will restart your computer once it's done installing. It, it took almost like five minutes for me to completely get installed. And now let's explore our new Windows 11, the customized Windows 11. I like this wallpaper. <laughs> Cool, right? And there is a new icon in our desktop, Rectify 11 Control Center. But first, I want to explore my Windows 11. So you can see our dark mode looks slightly different because we have that translucent uh, effect. Really cool. I want to check out the Control Center actually. Even the Control Center is fully dark. And you can see all the icons are changed because I chose to change the icons. Let's see, let's dig deeper and let's see if I have the dark theme. Wow, wow. Our Windows 11 is finally fully consistent with the dark theme. Yes, you might not know this, but Windows 11 or Windows 10's dark mode is inconsistent. Somewhere it's dark, somewhere it's still white. Let's go to the control center of Rectify 11. And from here, we can change the themes and we can also see some info about our operating system. If you don't like the Mika effect, you know, the translucent effect, then you can turn that off. Let's do that right now. It's gonna refresh the windows and now, we don't have that translucent effect. Let's go to the control panel and let's see if it changes anything. It does make some programs or options look weird because, uh, you know, at the top where we see the navigations is now white. So it's not fully white. I think using a Mika effect is better if we want to have a full dark theme. I think white themes are just broken or I just have to turn off the Mika when I'm using the white theme. Let's see, maybe because I'm using this in virtual machine. So maybe rendering isn't as good as the actual hardware rendering. I think dark theme with Mika is the best, all right? Who doesn't like dark theme? Don't tell me you don't like dark theme. It makes everything go dark. Now let's go to the gadgets. There is a gadgets feature. So this basically adds a sidebar and you can actually add multiple sidebars as many as you want. 
and you can put the gadgets in there. For now, this is basically for customizing the Windows 11 and making it look better. And one more thing before I leave you guys in peace, Rectify 11 actually uses a software for theming called Secure UX Theme Tool. So this means you can install third-party themes too. You can download the third-party themes from the internet and you can use those themes too. Like there are a bunch of themes. Maybe you want to make your Windows 11 look like macOS. Yeah, you download the macOS theme from the internet and, and you can use this easily. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.